Hang on. I smell trouble. You! Yeah, hit me already! Oh. <laughs> 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 creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you! It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, if this place ain't in some disrepair, it's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out there. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. Yes? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Mm, back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. <laughs> Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. It's all right, it's not perfect. But why do you hear your answer? Oh, you won't get it out of your head. Get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. 
Thank you. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Traitor, almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. Speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. 
May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Big heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Hook! 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 
Enemies down. the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <sighs> Them eyeballs are taking over the ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> You think I can't class nasty just cause I'm this flippin', huh? <laughs> For your next lesson, take note of that there watching on Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. See? Sturdy enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you need. the proper angle with those puppies. You want it straight on. Good! Guess you get extra credit. One of these hogs children. Put you in the trap. Great! You got him! Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Reddit. with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed oh very well these ugly birds maybe those grim will take him down uh nope <laughs> who you think you are huh you don't even know what's gonna happen Ah! <laughs> 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 
Straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end up working and working. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands? On your son's hands? 
I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. with the powers of Dropnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. 
As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear! See what we done! Now do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Just whatever. Smooth as snail, she is like a ship. Why? Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. It is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful. And you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully still. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? What would you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, <laughs> it didn't. That didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Atreus. See you later. Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. The two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? Equipped. What needs work? <laughs> 